깨봉. We're going to start by answering simple questions. I'll ask you two questions. So get your stopwatch ready and time how long it takes you to solve each of them. First question. What's the remainder after dividing 7 times 12 by 11? Stop the video and try solving it. Second question. What's the remainder after dividing 8 times 365 by 362? Stop the video and try solving it. Did it take you the same amount of time to solve both problems? If the second problem took longer to solve, it means that you're not understanding the essence of division and remainders. It should take you roughly the same amount of time to solve both questions. And it shouldn't take you that long. If you don't believe me, let me explain. Let's understand the meaning of the question the Gebong way. There's a box of donuts. In one box, there are a dozen donuts. And there are seven boxes like this. Now if you share 11 donuts each, how many people can you share them with? And what would the remainder be? If we write this question into an equation, we get 7 times 12 because there are 7 boxes of 12 donuts divided by 11 because you distribute 11 each. Should we take a look at Sweaty's method first? Let's see. Sweaty is breaking the boxes apart and distributing each of them, 11 to each person. Sweaty distributes it to 7 people and counts the number of donuts left. So the quotient is 7 and remainder is also 7. Good is here to save this mystery! Good job, Gouda. But I think there's an even easier way. That's exactly right! Now, let's compare Gouda and Sweaty's method. Sweaty gets rid of all the boxes, right? That means Sweaty is calculating 7 times 12. So Sweaty counts a total of 84 donuts. Then distributes 11 each. Finally, Sweaty arrives to the answer. Share it to 7 people. And seven left. <sighs> On the other hand, Greta took one out of the box first and then distributed. Greta remembered that division is grouping. We're going to group the donuts back together anyway, so there is really no point of breaking the boxes in the first place. The lesson we learned about division is grouping is very important. There is really no need to break up what's already grouped together. We should be able to solve the question as it's given. Geta almost forgot one key point here though. It's repetition. Repeating the process of division.
We know that we only need to take one donut out of each box. And because all of these seven boxes are the same, we can say that because there are seven boxes, the remainder will be one times seven, which is seven. Now, do you know why the two questions should have taken you roughly the same time? First question is seven boxes. Second question is eight. The first question told us that one gets left after each box. So the answer is seven with a remainder of seven. The second question says that for each box, three are left. So the answer is eight with the remainder being eight times three. Summary time. How do you divide quickly? Reuse the already grouped things. Don't break it all up. Why? Because division is grouping. Don't repeat the same steps. Do it all in one step. When solving math problems, you should not do unnecessary things like repeating steps or breaking up what's already grouped for you. <sighs> Don't waste your time. That's it. Gebong. Gebong.